Hello friends and welcome to my third weekly mobile Final Fantasy news update this week in Final Fantasy Mobile and let's just get started. So last week in Mobius we saw the start of the Dark Moogle special event, bring on the tears boys and this opens an opportunity to farm a lot of the debuff cards as well as the usual event stuff like summon tickets, ability cards and crystals. Now on the 23rd but actually the 24th if you're in Europe like me we're going to see the release of Chapter 4 Part 1, which will be the continuation of the Warrior of Light and Sarah's trek. With it, we'll also see the unlocking of light and dark elements, so the Onion jobs will switch a few elements around to make use of them, and the Paladin, Viking and Priest jobs will become available via normal summoning. To complement this, we will also see a new batch of cards in the Greater Ability Summon, and in addition to this, Knights of the Round will be making its way into that as well. Sometime this week we will be seeing a special event for the Chinese New Year which will boost the amount of Magisite you receive when you purchase it by 50% I'm assuming to give people an incentive to actually buy Magisite when there are no legendary jobs available Elixirs will also give double stamina during this event and this will stack with Mobius Day although I'm unsure if this is additive or multiplicative Finally the 28th will see the start of the Gilgamesh Battle Tower so please look forward to that so it's been a pretty busy month for Mobius, a busy week as well, and it's looking like next month is going to be chock block as well with the Final Fantasy VII Remake event and potentially the global release on Steam as well, so that's pretty exciting stuff. Now on to Brave Exvius, we've seen the start of the Ariana Grande collaboration event where you can recruit Dangerous Ariana, gear her up and raise her to a 6 star unit. There is also a rearrangement which is Pretty good, uh, it's not really my cup of tea normally, but there you go, collaborations are good at introducing you to new things. Uh, we've also got the Type 0 Academia event running still, but that will be ending this week, but will be replaced by another Type 0 event soon, which will give access to more of the Agito cadets. Eventually they'll all be available through summoning. As for Record Keeper, we're still moving on nicely, cycling events in and out and keeping it fresh. Last week we saw the Final Fantasy X event A Dream for Spira and its associated banners begin. Sometime around, well now, the time the video is uploaded, the Final Fantasy IX Where the Heart Lies event will have ended, and later this week we'll see a Final Fantasy Tactics event as well, so good stuff. We'll also see the Valigamanda, I don't know, pronunciation's not my strong point, Nightmare Dungeon open up on the 24th and that should be pretty good. And that is pretty much it from the mobile Final Fantasy games. If you've not seen it yet, you can check out my other video on the rest of the Final Fantasy universe. Thanks for watching guys, and I will see you in the next one.